Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome back to another MLB The Show 18 Home Run Derby versus Challenge. You guys did enjoy the video yesterday, the Home Run Derby Challenge between Otani and Babe Bruce. So we're coming back today with another challenge. As you see in the title, it's going to be an extremely interesting one. We have Russell Wilson going up against Tim Tebow in a Home Run Derby on MLB The Show 18. The Seattle Seahawks, a Super Bowl champion who actually just recently was traded to the New York Yankees from the Rangers, did participate in a little, well, a little bit of the New York Yankees spring training, actually played a game in spring training, and Tim Tebow on the other hand, a former playoff winning, a Heisman winner in college, won a playoff game in the NFL, things ended up not working out, and now is pursuing a career in professional baseball with the New York Mets organization. So it's going to be extremely interesting to see today which player, which former or current NFL quarterback is the better baseball player in terms of a home run derby. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. If you do, make sure to slap a big thumbs up. Let's see if it's possible that we can smash a thousand likes on today's home run derby challenge. Let me know who you want to see go up against each other next in a future Home Run Derby Challenge. The ones with the most thumbs up will be the one I feature in next episode. Your comment will be featured on that video as well. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't, hang in there, merch, top description box below. Every single dollar earned goes directly to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, closing in on 100 church sales. So go be a part of a great cause. With that said, long intro RBD over with. Let's get into today's challenge so first of all i do want to go and show you guys the stats from both players uh russell wilson is going to be a second baseman and as you see not the most insane stats for a player that's actually never played an mlb game but he has which is relevant for today's video 30 contact versus righties 35 contact versus lefties 28 power versus righties 37 power versus lefty 50 plate vision 63 fielding, 72 arm strength, 62 reaction, 78 speed, and 64 stealing. Turns out being a 65 overall player. Be interesting to see if he can even hit one home run. But let's go over now to the New York Mets and Tim Tebow to compare their stats. So on the Mets, Tim Tebow is listed as a left fielder. He is a low overall but has better hitting stats. He's a 63 overall, 45 contact versus righties. 35 contact versus lefties, 50 power versus righties, 30 power versus lefties, 40 uh, plate vision, 52 fielding, and the rest really doesn't matter for today's video. So it's going to be super, super interesting, my dudes, to see who can win today's matchup. And I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below who you think ends up winning today's home run derby in MLB The Show 18. Also, let me know these two players ended up going up against each other in a real-life home run derby. Who do you think would grab that dub? So Russell Wilson versus Tim Tebow is definitely going to be an interesting one. Now, the question is, where do we play today's home run derby? Since we did yesterday's at Yankee Stadium, we did the old Yankee Stadium, why don't we do the new Yankee Stadium? Since technically, Russell Wilson is in fact a New York Yankee. Just like yesterday's video, four minute rounds for each player to hit as many home runs as possible. Let's jump into it and do the gosh dang thing. So Tim Tebow is going to be going up first. Now the interesting part about this, is he get a home run first time? He does 408 foot. I thought they might get like two each. Dog, oh, that's two in a row. Tim Tebow's better than Tim Tebow is better than Babe Ruth. Tim Tebow's legitimately got off to a better start than Babe Ruth. Now the interesting part about this is it's just how it is and it will be the show home run derbies if you get two home runs over 440 foot you get an extra 30 seconds that's what hurt Otani yesterday as he did not hit those long home runs so Tim Tebow kind of had a slump but three two home runs within the first minute not too bad and he only needs one more over 440 foot to get that extra 30 seconds already which took Babe Ruth forever so Tim Tebow better than Babe Ruth let me know in the comments below so now got off to he's starting to get a little slow pass but maybe that's my fault maybe that's my fault this one I think should get out and it does 409 foot he did hit one. How far was that one? Just, I think, over 440 foot. And this one does not get out. So Otani ended up getting 12. So can Tim Tebow beat Otani? Probably not. The sign of these things. Um, but if he has selects for 30 seconds, who knows? Anything can happen. What has happened? Tebow, what happened? Did you use all your strength in the first two minutes? Okay, so it does say the longest home runs 442 foot. This one doesn't get out at the base of the wall. Tim Tebow not, might not get five. I thought he was about to get 100. 
That one went way foul. After the first two pitches, I thought he was about to get 100, but now he might not get five. Come on, Tim Tebow time. Like, why did the first two go out so easy, and now these are so hard to hit? Come on, this one has got to... That's way too high. Even with the short porch and right field, that one still didn't get out. Now the goal is to get five with Tebow. Opposite field power. Doesn't have the opposite field power like Babe Ruth, who did hit 15 in yesterday's video. Kind of a spoiler alert. I'm just getting too far ahead of the ball now. I think, is this my fault, or is this Tebow's fault? This one, dead center field, doesn't get out. Russell Wilson might actually win this, boys. This one, that's got to get out. It does, 402 foot. So that's four for Tim Tebow. Took him a long time to hit his fourth. This one, opposite field power, and it gets out. He needs one more, though, to go over 440 foot. That's a bomb. That is a bomb. Okay, just kidding. I'm blind? I'm a blind man. This one, the pitcher needs to throw the ball high and inside every time, and Tebow can crush it, but the pitcher doesn't like him. This one, dead center field. He does not have the power, though, to get a uh, home run past the center field wall. So at least he got five. Like, he, like what is that? What is that? Ten seconds to go. That one is hit way too high, but it gets out 369 foot. Last chance right here to get 440 foot. And Tim Tebow ends the home run derby with six home runs. And I do have to say, though, a couple of days ago, I tested out home run derby, and I was just, like, trying different players. and tried some players with really bad power, and they only hit, like, two or three home runs each. And they had like, the same power as Tim Tebow. So, like, I'm kind of surprised. I know four minutes to only hit six home runs is kind of, like, doesn't seem good. But compared to the other guys I did, like Harold Reynolds and some other guys that didn't have great power, Omar Vizquiel, like, that's not bad. So let's see if Russell Wilson can beat Tim Tebow. Not the greatest start. <laughs> not the greatest start for Russell Wilson. It's going to be interesting because he does have a lot less power than Tim Tebow. But all he has to do is get six. I doubt he can hit one 440 foot, though. That's going to take a miracle. It might take a miracle to get one with Russell Wilson. Come on, Russell. At least make this kind of interesting. That one is not going to get out. We're going to have to pull him. We're going to have to pull him. I'm not sure if he can hit one to left center field. I'm not sure if he has that kind of power. Because he would he only have, like, 30 power against righties. That's not the greatest. Now he's falling on the ground. So three minutes in, Tim Tebow already had two at this point. Russell Wilson, okay, that one was my fault. But uh, I'm not sure if Russell Wilson has the power to get one out. This one, like, can the pitcher, like, actually throw him inside so he can pull a ball? That one, that's perfect. That's got to get out. That finally gets out. Okay, Russell Wilson finally on the board. Took a minute, but he finally got on the board. Russell Wilson, that one was pulled a little bit too much. But at least he's shown promise. We need five. Come on, Russell. Concentration is needed. That's not a home run. Not, not even close to being a home run. I want Russell Wilson to make this at least halfway competitive. A little bit too high there for Russell Wilson. Halfway done, only one home run thus far. I mean, I think the only way we're going to be able to hit him out is if we pull him. Really? Okay, that one's got to be a bomb. Please get out. Please get out. Please get out. 379 foot. So he's not going to get 440 foot. So he has to he has to get uh, the four more home runs in two minutes because he's not going to get the extra 30 seconds. This one, that's got to be a bomb. Stay fair does not stay fair. I just want this to be close. I want it to come down to the wire. Was that a freaking knuckleball? Dog, our freaking BP pitcher is throwing knuckleballs. What is he doing? This is, why am I not swinging? Like, what, is this like Tim Tebow's dad? Like, pitching to him? Okay, that one's got, that's got to get out. That's got to get out. 384 foot. Russell Wilson, halfway there. We need to be clutch. Russell Wilson, that's his fourth. Dog, he might actually do it. We need two home runs. Russell Wilson, can it get out? Uh-oh. Russell might actually do it, boys. He might do it. Is this one out? Is this going to be the tie ball game? No, it's not. 40 seconds to go for Russell Wilson. What happens if they actually tie? What happens? Do they, do they go with the longest home run? I don't know. 30 seconds, boys. 30 seconds. This one, too high. Oh, gosh. Can Russell Wilson be clutch, my dudes? High and inside. He popped it up a little bit too much. 15 seconds. Russell Wilson. Oh, gosh. Tim Tebow might win it. Tim Tebow might actually win it. This one. Let's get one pitch off. It comes down to the final pitch. Can he do it? Can he do it? It's high. Oh, my gosh. That was actually kind of exciting. Russell Wilson. I thought with 50 seconds left to go, it was going to be able to do the gosh dang thing, but he didn't. 
So after all that, Tim Tebow beats Russell Wilson in the home run derby 6-5. to five. That's who I predicted, but it, it was a lot closer than I thought. So with that said, boys, that was wild. Hopefully you did enjoy today's home run derby challenge. And if you did, make sure to drop a big thumbs up. Make sure to let me know who you want to see in the next home run derby in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. Turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Hang in the merch subscription box below. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.